Hello, we are in Google Forms and this is how to stay organized. So I'll show you how to collect email addresses and how to uh, assign students names to their responses. So the first thing I do to help my sanity is to add a question. I'm in my Google Form, I have my title, and the first question I'm gonna ask is first and last name. That automatically changes to a short answer. So that helps me to collect student responses with their names. Their email addresses are collected too, but this helps me um, to more easily see who's responding how. The next thing I might do to help my sanity is to create a new question. And this one is going to be what period you are in. So it might be first, second, or fourth period for this class. And it's a multiple choice question. And I'm gonna make both of these required so students cannot skip them. And those just help me to stay organized a little bit so that when I'm looking at student responses, I can narrow down and only look at first period or second or fourth period. I don't have to look at all the responses at once. And that also means that I don't have to assign a different form for each class. In order to collect student email addresses, up here in this settings box, if you click that, is in the general tab and it's collecting email addresses. So automatically it will collect the email address of the students taking this quiz or looking at this form. And then down here, I can al allow students to respond more than once if I want to, or I can restrict it to only BSD emails. And I can even allow students to see the responses as a whole of the class. So I can allow them to see how everybody did, or I can even have them edit after they submit. So go back and revise and submit their form. So that is how to stay organized and collect student data in Google Forms. Thanks for watching.